Michael, it is such a pleasure to interview you today. I'm looking at your blue ribbon, uh, obviously that, uh, that signifies a, a support of prostate cancer. You've been through it all, and I appreciate your honesty, and I appreciate your being here today. And Erlanger did what for you? What Erlanger did for, with me was it, it, it gave me the best uh, doctor-patient relationship that I could have, could have hoped for. Uh, Dr. Singh was my uh, surgeon. Um, my form of cancer required a, a radical prostatectomy, and uh, I, I didn't, couldn't ask for better care than I got from Dr. Singh. Right. And he was able to boil down the details of a rather, a rather complex surgical procedure into the elements that my wife and I needed to consider when, when selecting not only a surgeon, but you know, the, course of, uh, the course of treatment that we needed to go through. You are a fantastic spokesperson for, for people like myself, who, a man who hates going to the doctors and who hates prostate examinations. You know what? I hate these words, but you got a man up here. You really do, and and gentlemen that um, uh, they go through re routine examinations. First of all, you have to have a routine examination, uh, and and second of all, don't be afraid to to. Uh, understand all that entails especially if you're over 45 um, you know a, a prostate examination is part of that and drawing blood to get a PSA uh, test uh, to set up a pattern of PSA scores over a period of time I think is what uh, the best practice is. Can you simplify it for us from the time that you were diagnosed with prostate cancer to, to right now? After I got over the shock what I devoted myself to was really trying to do everything I could in my power to help myself get better and to help myself heal from the surgery. So going through physical therapy, uh, following uh, the prescribed pattern of practice that I was given uh, with everything that I had was um, the way I felt like I could help myself um, and give the best chance of recovery, a uh, full recovery. 